Black Bobby Swagger here with Sansa Shop, and we're here at the AAC booth. Got Josh with me from AAC, and we're just gonna go over a quick rundown of what they do at AAC and some of their new line of suppressors. Gotcha. So what we do, we make silencers, what we do best. Uh, we got the new Ranger series, Ranger 5 and 7. Ranger 7 is your 30 cal, Ranger 5 is your 6 millimeter. Both are heavy deuce cans, you can beat them up, full auto graded, all that good stuff. Next one we got is our Jaeger, which is our hunting can. Real lightweight for the hunter that doesn't need anything extra. It's just bare minimum direct thread 5.8s. Uh, we got the Tyrant series cans also, the Tyrant 9 45M. Now we beefed up with all stainless steel baffles for the PCC guys. And we also got the Mark 13, which is a bring back from an old can. It's a FDE. We got it with the NSN mark for the clone guys. And we also got it black for everybody else. Uh, 300 Win Mac performs really great on a bolt gun and works really good on ARs. All right, y'all got anything new coming out or plan for the future or anything? Uh, we're working on an 8.6 can. Uh, probably this summer, fall, we're going to do uh, working on 8.6338 Lapua. This is a personal question for me. Anything Nikki coming out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's for why sure. I like Nikki. <laughs> Josh, we definitely appreciate <laughs> right, you, thank man. You, man. Have a good one. How you doing? It's your boy, the Black Bobby Swagger, here with Salsa Shop, and we're here at the Savior booth, and we're here with Bob. Tell me what you do, Bob, for Savior. Well, uh, I am one of the reps here for Savior, and uh, I come <laughs> out to all the shows and show you all our new stuff. Okay, so what y'all what y'all got new coming out? Y'all got anything new coming out? Uh, we during the shot show we released our new uh, uh, rifle uh, shooting mat. Okay. Um, but we don't, and then our new specialist uh, range bag, the backpack. Uh, but that should be coming out in maybe the end of the third quarter. Okay, okay. You looking got some high plans for it, some high hopes for it? We hope so. Yeah. yeah. So what you, um, me personally, I'm a suppressor guy. Okay. You got any suppressor bags coming out, an idea or down the line? We don't have anything in the works, mm -hmm. but uh, we can do custom. Okay. So if you come up with an idea, you can talk to my, my guy and mm -hmm. uh, we can possibly make you something and then work it out that way. Uh, Y'all heard it first. You're looking for some custom? May be possible, so this is Bobby Lee Swagger, this is Bob from Sager, and we out. It's your man, the Black Bobby Swagger, here with Salsa Shop. Got my man, Joy from Q. What y'all do at Crew Joint for the people that don't know? For sure, man. Well, most people know us for the Honey Badger. That's our flagship rifle. But today here, we're showing off the fix. This gun is currently chambered in our new caliber 8.6 Blackout. Um, this is a 12 inch SBR, uh, sporting our new silencer, the Pork Chop. So, by you saying SBR for the ones that don't know, is this a two stamp gun? Uh, so, they'll ship as a one stamp gun without okay. the silencer. Okay. Uh, but obviously, you know, the Pork Chop is a, is a standalone purchase, but it's what we recommend for 8.6. And I've been hearing a lot of talk about the boom box. Where's the boom box? Man, you, you and everybody else. So the boom box is our 8.6 gas gun. Uh, super cool. It's kind of built off an AR-10 large frame receiver. Uh, we hope to have it out sometime later this year. So y'all looking for anything for sure? This your man, you see Joy. Thanks for tuning in and we out. NRA 2023, it's your boy Mr. Q-Body, here with Daniel, the Black Bobby Swagger, and he's going to tell you about what a lot of people are looking for, the comp. Yeah, here it is. Here's the 507 comp. Uh, this is new for this year, probably releasing around May or June. Uh, as you can see, it's a big viewing window that you get out of there. You'll get a multiple reticle system out of this. Uh, same battery life that you get out of all our optics, mm -hmm. that 50,000 hours of battery life, side-loading battery tray. Uh, standard RMR footprint as well, so okay, you got that RMR yeah, footprint just mounted on directly. Um, yeah, complete package. Window size is very similar to our AIMS, just slightly smaller, so which is, I mean, great for competition shooting, right? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. So, um, 
What's the retail gonna be MRSP? Uh, uh, retail on that, I believe right now for the green version is about four twenty nine. Okay. Yeah, and then thirty dollars less for the red version. Okay. Yeah, yeah. green always. Yeah. 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 But when is uh when is expecting to drop? Uh, May June. May should June. Be around so big quarter. Yeah. yeah, second quarter. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Exactly. And we'll have a red and green version available. Hey, you as well. got a chance to spend some time behind it. Uh, recently, yeah, I yeah, like we it. have. Love it. Okay. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Yeah, we've had some guys testing it right now as of, as of right now and. Uh, they seem to really enjoy Great it, yeah, for sure, okay. yeah, that, that window huge size. window size, yeah, yeah, it's a benefit, so, yeah, that's something new for this year, for sure. Okay. We definitely appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no problem, guys, absolutely. Hey, Black you. Bobby yeah. Swagger. No problem. Daniel man. from Hall of Sun, Mr. Peabody. Yeah. We out. Here at the Genesis Arms booth at NRA 2023. I'm here with Cody. Yeah. He's gonna let, talk to us about the Gen 12. A lot of you probably already seen this already from a certain, well, not exactly this one, but he'll tell you. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with the Gen 12, it's gonna be a short recoil operated, 12 gauge, and it's gonna be built on a 308 lower. The thing that's awesome about it, it's a, really the first market. Uh, AR shotgun that's reliable and performs. Most of that is due to the fact that it's a no gas system. It's just a moving barrel, so as long as the gas is able to escape, there's no gas system, no piston, no direct impingement system to get clogged up okay. from those shot shells. Um, we got five round magazines, 10 round magazines, but because it's an AR, we wanted to make sure it's adaptable. Yes. So if you wanted to get yourself a JK suppressor, you know, you can thread it on and off just like you would expect to do with a, uh, a regular AR-15 or AR-10, okay. but you're in a 12-gauge platform. And then, of course, what you were referencing was the John, John Wick, Wick movie. Yes, so, yeah, we John were featured as the, as the John Wick shotgun, uh, and that one is right here on the table. So that's this bad bear right here. So I'll fit it out with the BCM stock, the BCM grip. It's got dual charging knobs, an EOTech. Yes. It's going to be an EXPS 3-1, okay. so it loses the halo. It's yeah. real clean. Nothing cluttered, it's awesome. Uh, this one, it. yeah, we put the cloud on it. And again, same muzzle device. So this can thread off and you can thread on the suppressor Pressure. if that's what you wanted to do. Gotcha. Now this one, we've put through the paces. This is the one we <laughs> did with the Grand Thumb video. Okay. So this one is actually our select fire. fire. Select fire, you can't beat that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put the challenge out. You know, we got seven inch barrels, 10 inch barrels. We run them full auto suppressed. We do it all the time. Uh, unparalleled performance, that's what we offer. I believe it. You can look at it and see. Look at this package. Terran Tactical version, John Wick. I know you've seen it. Genesis Arms here with Cody. Check them out. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Out of here at NRA 2023 here at the SIG booth with Chris and he's going to tell you about the new MCX line and the suppressors they got to go with it. Yeah so obviously you've got the MCX, the big boy, uh, this is essentially the civilian version of the XM7. Um, the calibers we're providing are going to be 7.62 by 51 and 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, we'll have a couple uh, different barrel lengths, we've got 13 and we've got 16 so kind of uh, depending on what you want to use it for you've got a couple different variations. You also got the MCX LT, a couple different calibers. You've got 556, you've got 300 blackout, and really the big news with this one, you could finally get 762 by 39. Yeah. So you got a bunch of different barrel lengths, um, depending on the calibers. The big ones being uh, nine inch blackout, you've got 16 inch, you got 11 inch, 556s. Five so you got a variety of different barrel lengths and calibers. Um, so that's kind of the LT in the nutshell. On the suppressor side, um, there are really two main families. We've got the SLX and the SLH. Mm -hmm. The SLX is, some, is the technology that we de derive from the military. So a lot of that low back pressure stuff, um, really trying to maximize uh, like flash suppression. Okay. Um, 
those will be Inconel construction, so um, that's like a very, very high heat resistant uh, a super steel essentially. Um, we've got QD and direct hood variants. Um, for the SLH, uh, we have Inconel as well as titanium. Um, really with that technology, we're essentially using I don't like to say 3D printing because people think of plastic, yeah, but exactly. it's additive manufacturing and we're using titanium and Inconel, these really, really strong materials. materials yeah. That technology allows us to do some really complex geometry in the, on the inside to get much better performance on that back pressure, on that sound performance, on flash suppression than you could with just normal welded suppressors. So that's some stuff that we developed in conjunction with some of our contract, military contracts contract. with the Army, with SOCOM, okay. that we really helped develop the way to both test this mm -hmm. and evolve our, our designs, and we're really cutting edge with our suppressor technology. Gotcha. Okay, that's good. Well, you heard it from Chris here at the SIG booth. If you don't have one, get you one. I'm gonna get one. <laughs>